Hey, what's up, guys? I've been getting a lot of messages on my slip leads. Um, I'm thankful for the people that have reached out and inquired about them. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go over on how they actually work. So if you're like, ah, I want one, but I don't really know what a slip lead is. So I got you. Um, first off, these are branded slip leads. They're leather, 100% leather. I have them in colors in brown and black. The rings here, stainless steel, which means they're not going to rust on you if, if you're out like hiking in, in inclement weather and such. Um, I really like the slider on these because it's nice and tight on these polished leads. The ones you might see at the store, they have the big rope and then the, the stopper is not, it's like loose and doesn't really have any purpose if it has a loose stopper on it. After time, it's going to sit like this and that's going to be down here and it's not going to have the maximum effect. So, so what you do is you want to put it on nice and high and you want to make it nice and tight. Not tight, tight, but just snug, right? Where it's right under their chin, and they're, it's right here at the top, right behind their ears, okay? All right, now you have your slip lead on, so it's like, how do we use it, right? So, I'm always preaching, feed your dog from your hand, from your pouch, not putting bowls of food down. So, you want to teach your dog how to walk on a leash, you need to utilize something that they like, right? I wouldn't recommend using high value rewards uh, treats because treats are really uh, could be bad for the metabolism. And if you want to do a lot of reps, treats just aren't really healthy. So right here, what I have today, I have some elk pieces. It's like just some basic freeze dried elk, right? I'm going to use that for saber. Um, you can utilize your dog's food, um, but I would stay away from high fat treats because your dog is going to be sick, right? So there's a lot of things you can get out there as far as rewards. So, okay. So you got your leash on and you're like, how do I use it? My dog, your dog's out there. So if your dog's there, stay. If your dog's in front of you and you're like, okay, I want my dog to come back. So pressure, right? Pressure on, pressure off. That's how we teach this. So if your dog isn't eating out of your hand first, first do this a couple times. Have your dog eating out of your hand. Now you made a connection with the food in your hand. So if, if my dog is here or your dog is there and they're pulling you, right? You want to use pressure like this? They release? Yes, right? If your dog is lagging behind you, right, and you pressure on, off, yes. The point of it is, is that pressure on, pressure off, whether it's behind you or in front of you, change directions. You give them a little, little pick-me-up right there. They get in line. Good job. Mark it. And then you reward them in the position. The biggest thing about leash walking is consistency. Rewarding your dog in the same position every time, okay? She knows this is where all the good stuff happens. This is where she gets the paychecks at, right? So she's going to stay right here at my leg because this is where she's been paid at tons and tons and tons of times, right? So I'll reward her here. The more you reward your dog where you want them to be, the more they're going to remain in that position, okay? But like I said, remember, you have, make sure you have a connection with your hand first and then use it like this. Good job, right? Whatever your marker would be, whether it's good, yes, or whatever. The more you pay your dog in this position, the more likely they're going to remain in that position. So shoot me a message if you want a slip lead. Like I said, they're five feet long, so they're not like a whole lot of extra material to get wrapped around your hands. You just simply reach and grab. Boom, you're good to go. But I want to go over that because I've had a lot of questions about the slip leads and how they work. Um, in my opinion, everyone should have a slip lead. You know, collar and leash in one. You roll it up, put it in your pocket. Good to go. I think collars are just for holding dog tags. So get you one of these slip leads and you, I promise you won't regret it. So, all right, let's go, mama.